up guys, Austin Nerd Show here and today we're doing one of my favorite boxes and it's the WWE Slam Crate. Um, I don't remember what the theme is at all for this month. Um, I thought maybe they have a hint, but they do have their new um, Loot Crate logo and stuff on the box. Um, so they've upgraded that at least. But as I said, I don't remember at all what the theme is. Usually with this box I remember it, but not today. Um, so we'll start off, okay I remember some of the advertised stuff. Um, so we'll start with the shirt first. And it is a um, Seth Rollins shirt, and it says the architect Seth freaking Rollins. Um, so this is cool to have a Seth Rollins shirt, but I do not like this color at all. It's like a very light gray color, and it's not like a like normal gray shirt. It's like a color. I don't know how to describe it. But whatever color this is, I just don't like it very well. But it does have on the back um, his logo as well, the like crosshair Seth Rollins thing. So that's cool to have a Seth Rollins shirt. Um... Like I said, the shirt color is what ruins it, but that's fine. Uh, next up, we have another um, medals figure, and it is of The Rock this time. Um, so, of course, we now have uh, John Cena and The Rock now. I forget how I opened this last time. The bottom. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, The Rock's not my favorite person in the world, but um, I guess a, a figure is still cool. And this is a Loot Crate exclusive. So I don't know if it's exclusive because he's wearing his uh, Brahma Bowl shirt. Um, because on the back of the box, he's not wearing it. Um, so I don't know if that's what makes this exclusive or not. So obviously, look at the picture um, when we get to the little um, poster thing. Gosh, I can't get this guy out. There we go. Oh, his legs are moving. I didn't know they moved like that. Oh. I hope it didn't break it. But as you can see, there's The Rock in his bald head glory and stuff. And he's there making a fist. And, of course, he has all his tattoos and everything. And he just looks weird. A little Dwayne Johnson. Of course, the highest paid actor and all that sort of stuff now. So um, that's, I guess, kind of cool. And then, of course, he has a base and everything for that. So that's cool. We'll put it with the others. Next up, we have the WWE. I don't know what. Oh, I think I know what this is. It's the WWE. Um, I don't know what they're calling it. World Heavyweight Championship is what this says. They change the name all the time, and who knows what it is. But it, it looks like it's a fanny pack. So, of course, which goes um, along with uh, wrestling very well, because especially back in the 90s, a lot of the um, wrestlers wore fanny packs and haven't been known to wear fanny packs, especially uh, Michael Hayes, which still currently wears fanny packs. I was going to say Hulk Hogan still wears a fanny yeah, pack. Yeah, a lot of the old guys still wear fanny packs. And Of course, there's a famous picture of The Rock, and a turtleneck in a fanny pack, so you can um, find that if you want to. But it's kind of cool. I mean, on the inside, it's got little pockets and everything. I mean, it's a fanny pack, so I can almost guarantee I won't be wearing this unless it's um, for a costume or something like that, or just for fun or something. But um, it's still really cool. It's fun. It, I just think it's a neat item. Like I said, it's the championship and stuff, so it's you really could, cool. And of course, it is an exclusive. You everything. could wear it like a single strap backpack. Yeah, I guess you could like throw it. You could do like throw it over. Oh, I can't like, remember who. It, this. No, I can't remember who it was. Someone used to wear their title like reverse oh. and snap it oh, across the chest. Like this. No. Of course, it's upside down, but they wear it like that and stuff. Um, That's how the Miz wears his title. Yeah. Um, so next up we have. Ooh, there's a card here, or at least I assume it's a card. Could be a small pop card. I don't know. No, small I'm sure it's pop a card. card. <laughs> I'm sure it's a card. If I can get it. New Day is really expanding their breakfast yeah. options. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, so they're um, like trading cards. So we have a John Cena doing the AA to Seth Rollins there. We have Charlotte Flair doing her moonsault onto um, Sasha and Becky. Then we have Kevin Owens doing a um, suplex to Dolph Ziggler. And then, of course, this is an advertisement thing. It's the Topps um, Slam 16 card pack. And you have a digital, of course, card trading card on here and stuff like that. Um, so that's cool. And so, of course, on the back they have, like, stats and information about the person on the front. So those are cool. Um, don't do much with trading cards. We're wrestling trading cards, that is, and stuff. But it's always cool to have those. And then our last actual item in the box, which is always one of my favorite things, is um, the title belt and uh, pin and stuff. And so there's the one for this month. And the theme is Road to WrestleMania, so that's what it says on the back there. And everything. 
I'm sort of, of course we'll look more into into this, but it's the World um, Wrestling Entertainment Championship. Um, and I can't read what else it says on the side. So that's another. I really like these things. I put them on my desk and stuff. And so it's really cool. And so, of course, we have our booklet here now to go through everything. And it, of course, says Road to WrestleMania. And we have all our items on here. So, of course, we have the exclusive Seth Rollins shirt. Um, the exclusive rock figure. Exclusive top cards. Um, and it looks like... At least by the picture here, it shows all the cards that we got, so it's probably you. everyone's going to get these cards, not variations of it and stuff. So we got that. Then we have um, the Attitude Era pin is what this is. And it says, we gave the Attitude Era Championship belt an adjustment. It's now in an enamel pin form. The Rock, Undertaker, and Mick Foley all held this title, and now it's yours. So that's um, really cool and stuff, having the um, Attitude Era one. And then, of course, we have the waste pack, as they call it, but it's a fanny pack. Um, and on here it says, um, The World Heavyweight Championship in waste pack format features an adjustable belt, which can be worn over the shoulders or around the waist. Um, and it says, We'd be remiss if we didn't mention that a certain famous superstar inspired this creation. Um, it doesn't say who that is, but um, I would maybe say Barack or something. I don't know exactly. Oh, and this is cool. So our poster for the month... Oh. And then on the inside, the little information thing, which they have these on each one, which I like reading them just to see what the people say and stuff. But we have Charlotte Flair, which, is, of course, if you didn't know, is the daughter of Ric Flair and stuff. And then our poster for the month is my favorite wrestler of all time, The Undertaker. Of course, this is, I can't remember which WrestleMania this was. Um, but, of course, this is an iconic one of his most recent stuff that they show all the time. Um... So that's really cool. I would really like an old, like, 90s poster of him, but that's still cool, too. Um, so that is awesome. And then, of course, we will show off the stage thing here, showing all... I guess they didn't expand it as much this time. <laughs> it's just on the front here. Showing all the wrestlers that had items inside of this box and stuff. So that's um, it once again. And I guess that's the WrestleMania stage is what they're doing for that one. Um, so that's it for this um, slam book crate. What was your favorite uh, item out of this, bro? I'd say the Seth Rollins shirt. Um, just because it's Seth Rollins. Yeah, like I said, the shirt would be super cool if it was just a different color. Um, but that's cool. Like all the, I would say the items in this box aren't my favorite because they're not like useful. Like, I mean, how often are you going to wear a fanny pack? I mean, it's still super cool. I'm definitely keeping it and stuff. And then since we got The Rock, which, like I said, is not one of my favorite people, but I'll still, you know, put it with all the others and stuff. Then we got trading cards and stuff. So pers I think my favorite is personally the pin because I really like these things and stuff. Um, but it, it was still cool. Um, again, um, still my favorite crate. And it's uh, this box may, uh, still keeping it that way and stuff. But that's going to be it for this unboxing. Be sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave any comments you have down below. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button to see all our videos. And we will see you next time.